Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover the RHEL 8 beta installation application, which is Anaconda, and some of the changes that have been made to it in RHEL 8. I have two different VMs here. In the lower left, I have a RHEL 7.6 VM, and in the upper right, I have a RHEL 8 beta VM. And we're going to go ahead and click on Continue on both of these. And on the RHEL 8 beta one, we'll get a warning message saying it's beta software, and we'll go ahead and say, I want to proceed. Once the main Anaconda menu items come up here, we can kind of compare them. And you can see between RHEL 7.6 and RHEL 8, the main menu options here in Anaconda are all the same for the most part. They're just oriented a little bit differently. So we still have localization and software, and those menu items are the same. And under system, the only difference here is we have an extra one called system purpose. And if we, we'll go ahead and make the RHEL 8 VM full screen here. And then we're going to look at this new system purpose option. The system purpose information is used once the installation completes. Uh, subscription manager will use this system purpose information when subscribing the system. So we'll go ahead and say Red Hat Enterprise Linux server for the role, and premium for the service level agreement, and production for usage. And then we'll go ahead and click on done. Another change with RHEL 8 is if we look under installation source. In Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, there's now a unified ISO that includes the base OS and the app stream repositories, and the Anacod installation uh, automatically includes the app stream now from this unified boot ISO. Another change, if we look under the partitioning tool here, RHEL 8 now supports Lux 2 encryption, and if you clip, click Encrypt My Data from the Anacod installation here, it'll use Lux 2. We'll go ahead and click Done here on the partitioning, and then we'll go ahead and click on Begin Installation. And then we can go ahead and set the root password from here. Another improvement in Anaconda and RHEL 8 Beta is that it now supports installing the system on NVDIM devices. I hope you get a chance to try out RHEL 8 Beta and go through a RHEL 8 Beta installation using Anaconda. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.